Hello friends, Ashton here. So it's been a long time since last video and uh, today I'm going to share I think the last video in this year. So this project I call it a watch the updates in a Google Drive folder. So basically what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to create automation to keep checking the files in a Google Drive folder. Like if I add a new file in a Drive folder and we can put the, this information about this file into a Google Sheet. But this is just an example and uh, this could be used for some kind of you know, workflow. So if I add, like for example, if I add a new file to a Google Drive folder, maybe we can trigger as, use this as a trigger to do other things like send this file to a prover or something like that or create an invoice for this file or send, a, uh, send this file out in, uh, with an email or something like that. So this is basically uh, the, the, the start of the trigger and uh, the start of the automation you can say that and let me show you what I'm trying to achieve here. So here I have a folder called watch folder and any file I like for example I have a wife one file here and in the spreadsheet here uh, I have a menu here guess 103 and I'm even trying to do a update for all the files so we can do this manually uh, but we, I also uh, add an automation here basically time trigger to keep this updated automatically every one minute okay so we can get this file right so if I rename this file to update it so I'd like to have this change in my uh, spreadsheet so that's what, what, that's what I'm trying to do here and so I'm going to show you manually so and uh, if I try to get the updated file and this script is going to do it's going to only get the file which is updated so that means by the time I when I'm trying to run this file uh, this function here is not uh, pull all the files, it is only get the updated ones. That means we are not collecting all the files just in case we have a very huge folder and we only get the updated one, right? And uh, if I move this to trash, for example, and uh, I do this again, uh, hopefully I can get another state uh, and it is moved to trash. Right, so that's basically what I'm trying to do here. And uh, if I have the trigger installed, so that means I don't have to run this manually, right? So I'm going to install a trigger to automate all of this stuff. So it's going to run every one minute. So that's the minimum interval I can set in the script. So let's have the trigger installed. And then I can try to upload a file, I think. So I'm going to grab some files, maybe all of these PDFs. So I upload them into this folder and uh, it's going to take, because uh, the, the interval is one minute, so it won't be an instant update. Um, but it's, I think it can solve most of the problems. I think it's just one minute, which of them will back every one minute. So. Uh, just wait for a few seconds, I think. So that's basically the start point. So if we can uh, get all of this, this information, like we can have the name of the file, which is being updated, and then the ID of the file, I think when you uploaded the file, it won't be changed. And uh, the type of the file, and the size, the status, if this is created, is this is a new file uploaded or this is a modified file. So if I change the name, so like for example, I'd like to change the name of this file to update it. So you will see the status here, I give the three status here. So when a new file is uploaded, it's going to be marked as created. And then we have a status which is uh, modified. So if I change the file, the, the file of the name, or if I trying to share this file, so basically I think any change 
any change to this file is going to trigger, it's going to be um, the status is going to be changed to modified and here if this is trashed it's going to be trashed and if this is shared it's going to be shared so I'm not going to wait for one minute so let me just try to do uh, manually trigger this hook okay I'm going to select no because <laughs> it's just triggered and modified as I as I said uh, if this is a file which is being updated in the file name so it's the status is going to be updated to modified and uh, if I shared I think I shared a file so let me just uh, do a manual update hopefully we can get that back to or the shared I'm sorry the cat is here uh, It seems like it's not working, but I can check after the video because I think it should it should work for this shared property or the file. Okay, so that basically uh, the information uh, we need in this uh, application. So if you are trying to use this file to watch a folder on your Google Drive, so you just need to make a copy of this file, but you have to do some change in the code. So let me show you right now. Okay, so to do the change in the code. So go to the extensions. So when you make a copy of the file, and uh, you should have a copy of the code too. So go to the app script from the many extensions and go to app script in here. Uh, so first thing you need to go to the okay the the file called config.js. So this is where you do the changes for the configuration. Maybe I'd like to give this view split view here. So, uh, let me explain this. Uh, so, the changes here, so in the configuration here, uh, we have a shift name here for the files, just in case you need to change the folder, the tab name here, you can, uh, you need to, if you uh, prefer different name, you can change the name here, but make sure you have also renamed the tab for example, if I change this to something files new, so I need to do to make sure that the name uh, in the code is the same name in the spreadsheet. Okay, so that's something for the sheet name. Okay, and uh, then another important is about the watch folder ID. So this is basically the folder ID you want to watch. And right now at this moment, we are only watching. Uh, the files in this folder. So if we have a subfolder, uh, it won't work. Okay, it won't work on the subfolders. So there's a note here for this uh, current tool, and uh, we have other configurations. But I don't think you need to change them. Just in case you need to change them. So uh, right now I have the status as I mentioned. We have a trashed, created, or modified. So if you prefer different name convention for the status so you can name here you can do the name here so if I maybe created is new so if I change the code here to new and if I'm trying to run this again uh, this time I need to get all files so I can show you the updates so it's, it's, it's been updated to new instead of created okay so this is about the status here and uh, others here is about these headers so these columns here I think we can add more properties because we have uh, a lot of properties for the file so that's something you can find in so if you do a Google search for Google Drive API and uh, you should be able to get a list of all of these properties in the I think in the okay so I think in the file object I will see here if I wanted to get a drive ID I, I can use a drive ID and uh, other things because we, this is a big object so uh, let me explain this so we have fields so this is this is from the Google API, okay, so this is very important. Uh, if, if this field is not included here, it won't be, you know, included in the 
response when we are trying to fetch this data from Google Drive API. So we have to, so if I want to get the ID of the file, I have to put the ID here. And if I want to get the name of the file, I need to put the name here. So that's why in the headers here, this is headers for the output. And you can see these fields, it's like the headers or the keys for the input because we are going to fetch this data from the file drive API to uh, get all of these properties from the file. And then from the output, we can decide. So if I, re if I reposition this array, so that right now the, the name is in column A, so that's why the first element in this headers array, right? And if I want to put this to the second uh, position, like for example, I want to put the ID in the column A, so I can do a very quick change here. And to show you the updates, I, I'm going to run this again. Get all files. So this is like refresh. So get all files is going to get all the files uh, for. And then you will see here the column is repositioned. So the ID is in column A. And if you want to remove some column, just uh, get rid of them. And if you want to add new columns, you can do that for sure. Just make sure uh, the, the the new property is added to the fields and uh, the new column is added to the headers. All right. So I think that's almost the configuration you can do here. And uh, let me just uh, revert, change it back to scenes like this. And uh, okay, I forgot one thing here, which is very important, I think, actually. I have to, I have to put the ID in column B because I'm using this column to remove the duplicated. Um, basically, the duplicated uh, values because every time, if we have previous value for a file and if we update it, we are using this as a key column. But I can do an update on the code for sure uh, to find the column, the uh, the column of the ID. So. Anyway, I'm going to do the update after this video for sure. Uh, so I think that's it for this uh, sharing. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope this can help. Thank you. Bye-bye.